Hello, welcome back. Hope you're having a nice weekend. Today we're going to examine Vinco Ventures, which is a very, very trending stock right now in the stock market. And the ticker symbol is B big, which I find it to be a very, very interesting <laughs> ticker symbol. And the uh, company seems to be going uh, all sorts of ways, like up and down, up and down. And um, it's, um, it's not even trading in a range right now. Like you can see a lot of variation in terms of its price. Uh, the, in the interesting thing to point out is that um, it used to be at eleven dollars, and right now it's a four, while it has uh, reached two point five or so, two point four. So, while it has dropped a lot, it has also gained a lot in the past uh, month or so. In total, uh, the last year has gained one hundred and sixty-six percent. So you can see that the the company is extremely the the stock is extremely volatile. And uh, the very, very interesting thing about this specific company is that it, uh, it's, it's doing business in the NFT space. And um, that's something that's potentially interesting as an investment because it could, it could do very well in the future or it could do nothing. Depends on how, how well NFT will fare in the, um, in the long run. Now, we will examine the company from, uh, from an investing perspective and a trading perspective. And so the first thing we always look at is outstanding shares just to see whether we are diluted. And indeed, we are uh, diluted a lot here. I'm assuming there have been splits here because this is a massive difference. I, I kind of find it hard to believe that all of this is a new stock that was uh, uh, created from the company and sold to the public. Maybe, maybe, but it's still a lot, a lot of dilution here, insane dilution, really. And uh, the short interest, another very interesting thing, 20% and uh, kind of growing a little bit. Now, that's very, very interesting because it can lead to a short squeeze. And uh, a massive short squeeze could send uh, the, the, st the stock price uh, massively higher. And so that's something to, to notice. And this is why I think this is a potentially very, very interesting uh, trading target, uh, trading, uh, a stock to trade, really. But let's take a look at the financials of the company, see, examine it from the perspective of uh, long-term holding. So here uh, you will see that uh, the company's uh, growth is, uh, is getting better actually. However, uh, the thing that I don't like is the fact that the operating income is uh, becoming negative over here. So even though there's some growth, it's actually growing in the negative. So that's, uh, that's not great. And uh, let me find here the net income. Uh, also massively growing in the negative here with uh, insane expenses over here and uh, loss of uh, money in the last 12 months a lot so balance sheet the balance sheet of the company uh, with a total assets of 336 million over here i'm assuming there must have been some uh, some debt over here this is why this uh, there are extra assets that would, that would make some sense but we will examine that in the cash flow statement where we can actually take a much much closer look at what happened uh, with uh, like there's a lot of other intangibles here for instance okay so the total equity of the company is in the minus right now however so there's a, there are a lot of liabilities yeah that's because the retained earnings are 100 minus 100 million so the company has trouble keeping any money and it actually needs more to, to spend more actually and uh, it's in the minus in terms of assets so that makes a lot of sense that uh, people are, have have sold the stock as, at least investors so uh, cash flow, cash flow over here in the negative, as you would expect from operations, um, I mean, close to zero, really. It's not much negative, but still 20 million in the minus and uh, a little bit of investing here, uh, which you would expect. And the cash from financing is the, probably the most interesting part, because you will see here that there is new debt issued over here and issuers of common stock. So there's a little bit of everything over here and here. So company got a little bit of debt they actually sold some more shares to finance uh, some of their uh, debt I, as i'm assuming or use it for other purposes so yeah they used both ways like a, lo a loan and um, actually selling more stock to investors and so the uh, cash from financing is uh, 280 here and this uh, this comes down to a free cash flow that's uh, negative minus 20 million that's basically zero i would i would picture this as a zero actually in terms of uh, cash flow and um, I'm, I'm assuming that the solvency will actually grow in the negative and that's indeed the case. This used to be better, to, to be doing better here. And this is probably why the stock has been growing upwards uh, in terms of its price. But now it's in the negative again. And that happens when the debt to equity ratio is uh, negative. 
you know, the debt cannot be a negative value, it can only be zero. So the equity has to be negative. So the company is not making any equity, it's actually uh, owing equity. So it's, um, it's not great. And uh, subsequently, this uh, increases the Altman's risk, or which is actually in the negative right now. Wow, that's, that's ter terrible, really, for, for a company. All right, so yeah, uh, in terms of, uh, of the company here and uh, Vinco Ventures, uh, I wouldn't. I would definitely not not recommend this as a as an investment. I wouldn't. I wouldn't invest in this company for the long run, unless unless you have some reason to believe that the company will be making loads, bought loads of money, uh, from NFTs or so in the next few years. So, but other than that, it's basically you're taking a bet. Uh, you're gambling really if you're if you're purchasing the company uh, based on the current financials. However, there is something that's very very interesting here. And I wanted to, to point out to point this out, the fact that um, um, uh, this is a very very interesting stock to trade, and um, it is extremely interesting. We can take a look at the one month chart right now, for instance, that the company has been growing upwards, uh, and uh, there's quite some volume as well. So it looks like there's a, an upwards trend, which may mean that more and more news, uh, good news potentially, will will pile up and uh, drive the market. And the price upwards really so you will you should be expecting drastic movements in this company uh, in the daily chart so as you see here last day uh, friday was up 15 uh, percent and after after hours 2.2 percent so while there is not much incentive to hold the company for the long run there's a lot of incentive to actually play the company for the short run so if you're a trader you may want to take notice and um, just take a look at your averages and all that uh, the 200 average, 200 day average, for instance, or the 50 day, depending on what kind of tools you are using if you are trading. I mean, the, in this channel, I'm not, I'm not really talking about trading that much. Maybe uh, I have done a lot of it uh, in the past, so I could definitely talk uh, in more detail about uh, about trading and some of the some of the technical aspects of it and what you can potentially look at. But the most important part about trading is taking a look at the at the price, the current price of the stock. And the movement trend, that's also important. Uh, and the other very, very important thing is knowing that your out shares outstanding and subsequently float of the company is low, which means uh, we're, you're going to be having explosive movements, which you kind of want. And um, you have to bear that in mind that uh, this company can actually move 10 to 15%. So if you are going with, uh, let's say, $30,000 on a trade, you, you should be expecting to have potential uh, 10 uh, minus plus 10 percent movements in some days especially right now it looks like there's going to be a lot of explosive movements uh, that's going to be happening in the future this uh, this is what I'm, I'm getting out of uh, this price action over here there's there's steep increases and, and declines so you i would definitely expect that so yeah uh, if you want me to make some more videos and ex examine more you know trading related uh, concepts and uh, say more things about how this works uh, in terms of um, the, uh, the VWAP, for instance, or other technical indicators, the RSI, there are so many that you can talk about. But uh, always remember that the price action and the volume are the, the top, the most important things. And um, yeah, other than that, again, for investing purposes, I don't feel that this is the, a very good investment to add to your long-term portfolio. But of course, it's, uh, it's always on you. It's always your decision. I'm just uh, doing my uh, analysis here and it's like my personal opinion. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a like and subscribe. And uh, in the meantime, you can also take a look at my, at my channel over here and potentially even uh, take a look at this series that I'm creating right now in which I'm uh, describing how some of the investing fundamentals work. And you can start with uh, video one. And I'm adding a link here in, the, in this video at top right corner. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.